we're back! I realize it has been quite a while since I posted a video and mostly my fault. I was in a rush getting a lot of this stuff done and the reason I haven't filmed much in the past few weeks is partly because of this home. Well, for two reasons. For one, I was working in pretty close quarters trying to finish the bathroom and I really couldn't get a good angle of setting my camera up in there without the stuff I was working on falling on top of me. I'll show you. I do stuff to clean up in here, but if you can even see, it's such a small room, it's hard to film here. And this is not a wide angle lens. But we painted all the walls in here. I don't know if you remember before, it was all wallpaper. We patched all the holes that were in here on both sides. I don't know if you remember, there was an opening here where the drywall was cut out and I had started patching and mudding that. We got all that, sanded it smooth, and we painted this room. We tore out the old shower and the old tub and place we put a new metal tub new shower surround these aren't anything special you can purchase these at almost any hardware store we got these locally at home depot and they come in four by eight sheets we just cut it to fit and we f26 which is a adhesive we use to fasten it to the wall and we did if you can see trim out the edges with some molding that they provide for these panels these panels were so big and bulky trying to get in here i just couldn't figure out a way to film myself and be able to get the work done too and another reason i didn't film much in here was it seemed kind of repetitive what we were doing i'd already shown a little bit of the flooring so we did finish the flooring in the rest of the house i apologize for all the messes in here we still gotta get all our tools out but we finished laying all this uh, luxury vinyl plank throughout the house, all the way into the master bedroom. All of it's done everywhere. She wanted to go as economical as possible on the molding. So we just installed a quarter round, no baseboards, all the way around the house. And since she didn't want to paint any of these walls, I just got Home Depot to color match the quarter round as close as they could to the flooring. Tomorrow, Amanda will be back with me. We're gonna try to get two things done if the weather permits. One, we're gonna get all of our tools out of here and clean up. And secondly, we're gonna try to fix this. This porch has seen better days. It's been here for several years now. Some of it is starting to rot and anytime you walk on it, it has kind of a springboard effect because it's not fastened really well. She wants us to replace this. I'm gonna to try to salvage as much of it as I can just to save the materials because some of it's not rotted. I'm gonna take the whole thing apart and try to rebuild it. And I think I may turn it the other way. Right now, this deck points out, but the way you park here, the driveway is down there. So I think I may turn the deck the other way instead of you having to walk out and around. The steps will be here pointing directly to your car. So just be easier access walking up and into the house. Right now, I'm gonna start trying to take a little bit of this apart, see how bad it is, and start figuring out the materials I need for tomorrow. sure I want to stand under that when it comes down. There is a little bit of additional bracing above me that hasn't been disconnected yet, but some of this porch is so rotten that I don't know how well it'll hold up. So I'm gonna see if I can pull it with this hook. I might look like I'm about to wily coyote myself cutting the walls out from under the roof but I'm actually taking some of the screws that I'm pulling out of this and putting them underneath it that way I can unattach this thing a little bit at a time without it coming down on top of me hopefully these little screws will hold it and thankfully the whole thing was put together with screws so I don't have to dig nails out but these some of these screws did rust so I have to dig a few out but I'm making just cut them loose with a sawzall
One of the issues my aunt had mentioned around the door is that it was leaking in between the porch and the home itself. And I think that was the problem, that all these leaves have backed up this gutter. These mobile homes do have a little gutter on the front of them, and it's completely full. I don't know that's all that was causing the problem, but it can't be helping that. It was just packed tight with leaves right there, so the water was just building up and spilling over. So hopefully we'll clean that out, and if there's any holes in the gutter, caulk those and see if that helps any. Overall, this porch was put together pretty well. The only thing I think I may do to kind of help reinforce things, because it was a little shaky, is I'm going to fasten these posts to this concrete. That'll keep the porch from ever kind of walking along as you step on it. Just the vibration sometimes will make it move. It looks like he's attached it to the house to kind of keep it in place. But we're going to anchor it to this concrete because we're actually on a slab here. So when we start to rebuild, that's the first thing I'm going to do is kind of attach this down. Other than that though, it was a pretty good porch. It's just seen its better days. was underneath the porch right where I was standing. I'll be the first to admit that I don't know much about snakes, but I think we'll all agree that this one is probably now slightly taller. slightly alarming. Not only is there a lot of leaf litter up here, ants have made a home up here. See the ants crawling. I've thoroughly been eating up my mosquitoes. I was able to get the whole porch down and some of this cleaned up and I got a little bit cleaned up by the roof, a little bit of that gutter cleaned out. I got to bring a water hose back and rinse it out because it is full of dirt. And I really think that's the reason it's leaking so bad is because water can't drain out and it's just pouring over the edge. I'm not certain, but that's my theory anyway. I was hoping to get the whole porch installed this episode, a remove and replace kind of deal. Unfortunately, I didn't get that done. So I may just end this one here. I hate ending episodes without a project at least somewhat completed, but the fact that I am running between a couple of different houses now, I may start doing a few episodes where you just kind of get a day in the life kind of deal. I may have to be cutting some of these episodes a little shorter because I feel like I'm kind of getting out of the practice of making the videos because it's been almost six weeks since I did the last one and I do all the filming and editing myself and it doesn't really come second nature to me. So if I don't do it for a while, I kind of forget how. So to stay in practice and to put out more videos. I'm gonna do my best to start releasing them while we're still in the process. I know you guys may not like that as much because you don't get to see a completed project, but you will still get to follow us along the way and maybe get a little more insight on what our day-to-day -day is like because I have to cut a lot of that out to edit down the video short enough to show the actual project being completed. So I may just see how it goes for a little bit, just filming our day-to-day -day and kind of showing what we're doing. And occasionally if we do have a project we complete in a day, 
you'll get that in one episode. As always though, thank you guys so much for watching. Please continue to like, comment, subscribe. It helps us so much. And this week we actually hit 600 subscribers. So we're really close to that coveted 1,000 where we actually can monetize our channel. Anyway, I'm gonna pack everything up and get out of here because I'm being eaten alive outside this mobile home. There are so many mosquitoes out here. So yeah, until next time, see you guys. Thank you.